second day in the star world's in a year, with the wind once again too light. So the sailors had to wait for the breeze to appear. Would it take too long? But this does not mean they have nothing to do. The star boat is always demanding, requiring trimming and adjustments for those who want to improve their performance. After a couple of hours, it was time for the first race, but the race committee boat side was too crowded and the boat started earlier. So there was no other choice left for the race officer than signaling the general recall. That gave the chance to the athletes to sail a bit more upwind and try their speed. At the second start of the day, the boats got spread around the starting line, with the duo of Stanchek and Clean starting on the committee boat side next to O'Leary, Barros and Polgar Koi. Immediately after the start, the duo of Nazaro, Nutuzzi from Italy decided to tack. Same move for the Irish and the British. Percy had no other choice than heading to the right side. Would this pay off? Finally, after a really tricky upwind, O'Leary saw himself rounding on top with a safe lead in front of Stanjek. Few places behind, Scheidt and Prada wanted for sure to do something better. Same for Xavier Rohart, winner of yesterday's race. As for Percy, he managed to climb on top due to his choice sailing on the right side. During downwind, the top three had some fierce battles. O'Leary, Pepper and Hestback were too close and all wanted to be on top. And as it happens in downwind, one was blocking the other's wind. Not a very clever move since the fourth boat was too near. Would Rober Scheidt and Flavio Marazzi benefit from this? Finally, Marazzi rounded first with O'Leary behind him and Scheidt third. The Brazilian, being smart and fast, tacked immediately on the mark and headed to the favorable right side. Few places behind, Rohart. For sure, this place did not satisfy him. But would he risk or choose to maintain this result? The Dutch duo of Jensen and Growth were a few meters behind, just in front of Percy. Finally, Scheidt and Prada managed to climb on top, do their clever move, sailing the right side of the course. But Marazzi and Demaria would not let this go. Pepper Hamish from New Zealand was fifth with Percy seventh. The last downwind had some suspense, with Marazzi giving it all in order to overpass Scheidt. After some jibes in the last few meters, the Swiss saw himself finishing first with the Brazilian not able to believe how he lost this bullet. Let's hear what he has to say about this race. Uh, the plan was to start in the, in the windward side and to tack towards the beach. We saw there was uh, more wind and a shift. And uh, we, d we did that and uh, it was the right thing to do. So we managed to finish the first upwind in the top 10, which is very good in this condition. We made some good de decisions, climbed uh, up to first. And then at the finish, uh, after a few jives, we lost to Marazzi. I think uh, perhaps we, we should have not jived too much. I think the moment we jived uh, with him, we lost a bit of ground. and. Uh, in the end, he managed to come from behind with a little bit more pressure and uh, beat us in the line. So, but we're happy. I think we had a great day. It's uh, very hard out there, a lot of shifts, and it's very easy to do bad in one race. So we're happy with the second we had today. Let's have a look at the results. After two races, the Irish duo of O'Leary, Burroughs is first with Shite, Prada second. But everything is still open with many races to come. After this long race, it was time for the sailors to head to the port and have some rest. More action tomorrow.